Hiya, welcome to SS Cookie. My name is Ibo Deng and welcome to the show. Now on today's show we've had a lot of requests for this dish. Well it's not a dish, it's like a side dish. Um, I've been trying to put it off for a long time. Those of you who know what I'm talking about will understand. Um, on today's show we'll be cooking a cedar. Now, if you have a man in the house, if you have uh, your brother, your husband, Son, just a man <laughs> in the house when you get tired just call them to come and help you because this one needs a lot of manpower so that's what we're going to be cooking today so let's not waste any more time and let's have a look at the ingredients okay so here we have the ingredients here I have a bowl full of maize flour but some people like to use semolina with flour but for today I'll be using maize flour um, it's around five four or five cups so as you can see later on, we may not use all of it as we'll just be adding and seeing how it goes along the way. And we'll also be using a wooden spoon. You need a strong, sturdy spoon because the amount of mixing and how tough that acid is going to be, <laughs> you don't want your spoon to break. Then we'll be using this mittens. You just want something that you can hold the edge of the saucepan, the hammer with, because you don't want to burn your hands. Um, you can use like a cloth if you don't have one of these mittens. Also, we'll be using like a liter or one and a half liters of water, depending how many people you're cooking for. This one, you'll probably end up cooking for three to four people. So there we have it, the very few, very simple ingredients. So let's get started. Okay, so here's the one to one and a half liter of water that I've already put into the pan because we want it to be boiled before we add in the maize flour. So what we do, to start off, let us add some maize flour, like so. You need to make sure that the water is hot. And add it like this. Now as you go along, as the water is boiling, you add small small bits of the uh, maize flour until it gets thick. So we add a little bit more. This where the mittens come in handy. As you can see it's getting thicker so you can reduce the heat again to a low heat make sure that it's getting cooked okay I just want to add a little bit more because it's still soft should be it. You don't need to add any more. This is where the real work comes in now. Okay, so after 10 minutes of uh, let's say mixing but it all depends on how big because this is small 10-15 minutes of mixing letting it cook it should be ready by now Whew. you can see it should be ready by now Whew. So, time to plate up. Whew. Okay, how I like to plate it up, 
because I'm just using this as a show for you, you can either get a big bowl, put it in and do what I'm about to do, or if it's just a small, if you want to do it individually, you can get separate bowls, put them in and then put them in the plate. So switch it off. What I want to do now, is put it in like that. And then what you do, you wet your hands and then you just pat them down into the bowl. Make sure you wet your hands so that it doesn't become sticky to your hand. So you just pat them down like that. Okay. And then you get a plate that you're going to serve it on. Then you just turn it around like that and hopefully there you go a cedar so there you have it a cedar and i'm sure from my introduction you understand now why i've been trying to put it off for a long time i'm sure i've worked all these muscles by now with all of that mixing and stirring so that's great so please don't forget to like comment subscribe to see what we're cooking on our next show until next time bye bye